Hey guys, the Burgmeister and today we're going to be taking a look at the Bad Batch show that has just been revealed. I haven't seen any pictures besides the leaked images that leaked, I think, one week ago. So this is going to be my first reaction to these images. So if we scroll on up, it starts Bad Batch, and then here it is. So if we click on it, it's going to be $100, which I'll talk about the price later. So in the fun fact, editing me here, I never talk about the price again. So I'm just going to do that here. I would have rather this set be split into two parts, being the shuttle for $80, and then the two speeders in a Twilight set with another little side build. That way you could have also split up the figures. If this set was $80, I would definitely be pre-ordering it. But since it's 100 and I don't really like the color, and Crosshair is my favorite Bad Batch member and he isn't in the set, all these factors are causing me not to pre-order it. On another note, I know this is for pre-order on Target, and I'm not sure about other places. But in conclusion, it just, it feels like they took two sets and stuck them into one set. So it's just, those figures look really good. That's the first thing I'm noticing off the bat. But I'm sure there will be a better image. The sand blue is the biggest thing I want to talk about, though. There are some shots in the light in the most recent episode, by the way, spoilers for episode one, that make it look sand blue. Do I think it's visually appealing when it's sand blue? No. Is it slightly accurate? Yes. Um, other things. I like that the Bark Spear is the same build. Mostly because it's just consistency. I find the seat being blue to be a little bit weird. Red Spin Loaded Shooters as intended and predicted. Whatever. I think all sets them. This speeder we've seen in the trailers... I would describe it as dark green though, not lime green, but it's a cool color and they've got some stickers on there too. I hope this piece is a print, mostly because it's so big and it could be like f three, maybe four stickers. The figures, definitely that new 2021 style, 2020 style, I mean with the toe printing and stuff. Um, let's start with Echo. I think it's weird how he's got a printed waist cape. I would have just preferred them to give him an actual waist cape and no robotic arm, sadly. But I'll just give him the robotic arm that I've designed for him. Hunter looks really good. This Imperial, trying to avoid spoilers, character looks decent. Tex helmet's a little, little weird. And I like how on um, Wrecker, he's got shoulder printing essentially on that armor piece. Which is actually, is that a new armor piece? That might be a new armor piece in the contrary. But anyway, let's just get on to the rest of the photos. So we've got the evil Imperial riding the speeder, which is interesting. Um, just that same shot, as you can see, sand blue. I would like how it's very smooth, though. What else? I've just realized now the entire time it could have been full screen. Anyway, oh yes, this shot we can see with their helmets off. Of course, then this happens, which is really annoying. I don't know why this happens, so I'm actually going to go back here, because it's easier this way. I don't like that expression for Hunter. I don't know why, just I don't like it. I like that expression for Wrecker, however. I hope he's got the explosion inside of his face, and that's not a bad choice for a helmet mold. Tech looks a little bit angry. I would have recolored the Incredibles hairpiece if I did him, the, I mean, Mr. Incredible hairpiece to brown. Ooh, he's got arm printing. Echo's got arm printing. But then why don't the rest of arm print? I mean, I guess Parker's got a shoulder pad printing, but it's probably just on the side, though, just to like compensate for not including the robotic arm. Helmets, though. Of course, I don't even see Hunter's helmet. Uh, but this should have been a different helmet mold. The flame, first order flame trooper helmet mold, to be exact. So should this helmet. Um, the interior. Oh, you can actually fit four members. I didn't think you would be able to do that. That's really good actually i'm very impressed also it's interesting how it all folds out at once even with the fin on top very interesting oh probably two more stickers oh and two more stickers just two more stickers which don't look half bad but just more stickers yeah we don't need to talk about that spray loaded shooters Ooh, this shot looks really good so this annoying spray loaded shooters just i'll do something with this more talking about the figures. I like the helmet mold for Hunter. This is the one I thought they were going to do. This isn't horrible. 
they had this and the um, Mando helmet, and I could see why they wanted to do this, because the Mando helmet exists in this universe. This, how it goes under here, looks a little bit weird, kind of like a Stormtrooper. If this can slide up and down, this, like, visor thing, it's pretty good. I actually really want this blaster, and I've wanted it for a long time, and I think it's a good choice to get some blaster variation. Just looking all there's they don't actually have any... Wait, why does Hunter not have a blaster? Anyway... Um, Echo should also have that flame trooper helmet, as I mentioned previously. See, no arm printing on this side, only arm printing on one arm. Kind of annoying. Just frustrating. This is definitely a new mold. You can see all the toe printing looks like the clones, except his is a little bit different. Yeah, in his, but they have the same toe print. Wait. Okay, Hunter and Wrecker have the same legs. But then everybody else has different legs. Oh, I really like that green down there for some reason. Once again, it should be using the first sort of flame trooper helmet. And this probably will appear in the show. Just looks weird. I wish they had a print on there. I already saw that image. Is there anything else new? No, there isn't really anything else. Um, We didn't really get a good shot of their head prints, unfortunately. So I'm going to go back up to this and talk about those a little bit more. Echoes looks good. I... I I don't really have much more to say. I like the skin tone choice. I think all of the skin tone choices in here are really good. I think the fact that they're not showing this character's head is very intentional. For spoilers sake. I know. Um, yeah, spoilers. It also just... What if he has the angry clone face? You better not have the... Okay, to get rid of the angry clone face. He, I still hope this character has a unique head print. Just... Why didn't they give him Benny's arm like I have? Just, I really wish these characters had arm printing. That's where I feel like I'm going with this. If they'd arm printing or something, I don't know. I just think Hunter's expression looks really weird. And I kind of feel like I'm going on a tangent at this point, but I just want to zoom in here one more time. I mean, it looks good. This hand looks a little weird, but we haven't really seen much of the inside of the Bad Batch shuttle. I mean, apart from that, it's just... It's a set. It's one of those sets where I'm not going to pre-order it, even though you can. I'm just going to wait on this one. Kind of want to see if the shuttle ends up looking a sample. I'll probably end up getting it. It's just one of those things where I don't want to pre-order it. Yeah, I'm not going to pre-order it, but I'll definitely get it, mostly for the figures. I'm probably going to end up, hopefully Clone Army Customs releases their Bad Batch soon, getting some of their Bad Batch, or at least Crosshair, because Crosshair isn't including it, included in the set. And maybe Echo, because he's my second favorite, I mean Tech. Yeah, Crosshair's my favorite, then Tech, then Echo, then Hunter, then Wrecker. I'm not going to explain why. Because, spoilers. Comment down below your thoughts on this set. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss another video. And with that, I bid you farewell.